I always push it a little bit back like that hi guys welcome to our channel today Benjamin is at work so you are stuck with me but hopefully I am good company so today I am going to do a chit chat as I do my hair and the hair we are going to work with today is Wiggins hair it says once meet never forget okay once you meet it you will never forget so I'm going to install a wig I'm not very good at this but I love to try new things and I love new looks so I'm trying a look that works with me also please disclaimer because there's people who always go like if they see me wearing a wig they're like you you don't love your natural hair my friend I love my natural hair this is just protective styling it's good for me it's very it's also very hard to take care of natural hair especially during the winter here I mean if you're a natural person you know wearing a wig does not mean I don't love my hair we need to normalize choices like it is okay for someone to do what they want you don't have to feel validated you as someone who is wearing your natural hair to make me feel bad for trying something different there's so much controversies when it comes to wearing a wig or hum whether it's human hair whether it's synthetic there's all so much controversies which i did not know about until i did the recent video about changing up my look and then it's going to just be up here and then so many people were emailing me like don't you love your natural hair why are you doing this human hairs some in the comment section i was like i love my natural hair i take care of it i do my own natural hair but if i get the chance to do something else that seems easier i will do it and in at the same time i'm taking care of my hair so please don't come for me i'm trying something new if i feel comfortable with it i'll do it if i want to wear my natural hair i'll wear it very often don't make people feel bad for trying or for doing something that is different from what you're doing i'm not a negative person i don't like to feed on negativity but when it's being said a lot that's when i go like at the end of the day if i die the hole is going to be dug for me and me alone even if i'm wearing the wig or not it's going to be my hole it's not going to be the both of us you know that's it anyway let's get to the video so we're working with Wiggins hair as i said every detail of their hair is going to be in the description box so make sure you check out the description box it has this i love any wig that comes with this kind of bag because that means you can put your wig in there if you're not using it and you don't have to worry about dust getting in there so i love that and then it came with some goodies inside so let's see what's inside we have a band this i am assuming is the thing you tie around here and then i got eyelashes they are really long and then there's this it's like a scarf but you tie it like that you know there you go and a wig cap but i already put mine on so we're not going to use a wig cap let's get started with this video today i want to talk about because i get this question a lot people ask me a lot like what do you do for work nina might be making her cameo every time she walks in and out of the door also you can tell that my background has changed because we moved and i'm trying to figure out which is the right background for me the hair looks like this so that when i start installing there is no problem okay it is 32 inches it is curly hair and it's very soft it's really soft it doesn't start it doesn't tangle in case you didn't know i am a web and software developer when i was in kenya that was my major i would create websites and i would develop softwares so like my life history is so a little bit of a background about myself right after high school i joined the university i wanted to do a different course i wanted to do music because when i was in high school i was doing music as a subject and i loved it so i thought that i could go with further education with my music and i wanted to do like orchestral music because i love orchestral music when i'm editing something i always play orchestral music so i thought i would be an orchestral instructor but that was not the same plan my dad had he actually chose what i was going to do and he chose it so there is software and hardware in it and you know in school you're taught 35 percent and then the 75 percent you do it yourself so we were taught 35 percent of literally the five percent of hardware software and every other thing mathematical thing that you needed to do and then the rest you have to figure out yourself when i was in school i was having so much trouble because i was like they're not teaching us what they're giving us in the exam even the 35 percent is not in the exam they expect you to read everything and so i did i figured that out 
and so I started doing my research on and software and so I decided to major in both web and software development I decided to major in the software aspect of information technology because my dad chose the course for me I thought I would hate it but the more I did it the more I loved it which was very odd because I thought I would really hate it you know when your parents pick out something for you you like you're sure I will hate this thing but I, I was completely sure that I would hate it but I actually loved it and so I loved creating so here's the hairline as you can see it's actually a nice looking hairline um, this is supposed to be the baby hairs I'm gonna put this in a in a knot at the back my life at the university was very interesting so we had one lecturer and this is beside the point of my what I do for work so we were doing an exam it, it was a it was a CAT CAT I don't know what people call it here like those short exams it was not like a major exam it was those short exams that add up to your main exam every every place has a name they call it in kenya we just call it a cat c-a-t we were doing a cat he comes to collect the papers and then he comes to my desk he looks at me because i was looking at him and he was looking down on me literally because i was sitting down and then he looks at me like have you ever been in my class i'm like i'm always always if i'm not in the front row i'm always in the second row how can you have not noticed me and so i said yes i come to your class every single class i have never missed a class because i was never the type to miss a class i would always go to all my classes he was convinced that is raha so we have two dogs he was convinced that i have never been to his class he told me i'm going to take your paper but right after i leave the class follow me so i thought i was in trouble and then i follow this lecturer we go instead of going to his office he walks towards his car which was very weird he starts asking me have you ever missed one of my classes i said no i've always been in your classes and then he asked me about what grade i got on his last card and i was fairly high i was like at a 70 percent so i think it was a 73 or a 75 percent and so i tell him and then he's like hmm and then he's like so i have marked your papers and all of that i said yes so i need to cut this so i'm going to take it off and then i'm going to cut according to the hairline i'll start like this so as you can see so i'll cut and then i'll cut all this so i'm going to do that in my hand let me cut this i'm going to show you how i cut it is that i pull the hairs back so where the hairline literally because they created a hairline for me here so where the hairline starts it's literally where i cut and then i'll fix it as we continue so i'm cutting as i continue my story he tells me well because i have never seen you in my class give me your email so every lecturer in school had an email where they could reach all the classmates like it was one major email that every classmate had so if we got an email everyone in the classroom would actually get the email so what he was saying is that he wanted my personal email but because i was scared i gave him my email you know when you're in that kind of a situation you don't know what to do when i look Back, maybe i should have gone about it differently but because i was scared i didn't want to be in trouble he told me okay i'll reach out to you if i see any problem with your paper so he was referring to the paperwork that we just i mean the exam that we just did me i am walking praying to god that there is no problem the same night i get an email from this lecturer he's like your paper seems okay but i need to see you in my office on monday on monday i go to his office you guys know where this story is going on monday me a very good girl i walk myself to the office of this man i'm thinking ah you know you have that gut feeling i'm thinking do i really want to go to this office but because of my paper and because i don't know what the problem is let me just go so i went and then when i went this guy is telling me if you don't do what i say i will fail you <laughs> you know i used to hear these things in the movies i used to hear people say talk about it but when it actually happened to me it was like in 3d someone is telling me i have to do what they want so that i can pass in my exam and mind you i am just in my first year i don't know how things work i am in my first year i don't know how things work in the university i don't know anything i don't know who to report to 
I don't know where to go if I need to report. So I'm just standing there. I'm looking at him like you must be crazy because as far as I'm concerned, my body is the temple of God. I mean, that's not what I was thinking at that time, to be honest. I was just thinking, I can't believe I have put myself in this situation. And you know, at that time, you kind of blame yourself because you're like, I should have known better. But how could I have known, to be honest? He took my paper from an exam room. So this whole time I'm thinking it's because of my paper that I'm going to his office. But you blame yourself. So I looked at him and I said, I'm not going to do what you want. So if you need to fail me, I'll take the fail. And I left the office. And so every time he would come to class, he would just look at me. So this happened around the time. So that was the last, it was the last small exam. And then we were supposed to do the main exam so that we could go to the next year. So you understand. So now every time he would come to class, I would always be at the back. Remember, I was always at the front. I would always be at the back. I still went to his class because education is key. I didn't know who to talk to. These things happen. You don't know who to talk to. I only told one of my friends. They were like, wow, these things happen in the university. And I'm like, if my friend is telling me these things happen in the university, then how else am I supposed to handle this? So I was quiet with it. You know, you kind of die in silence. When you go through something like that, you kind of just quiet it down. When it was time for exam, I did my exam. And true to his word, he failed me. But I was the kind of student that my grades were always high. So you can imagine having Bs and As and then having one D, it didn't make any sense. So when I got to the point where I was asking, so who do I talk to when I need to complain about I have been graded badly? So we had to go to the head of the department, the head of the IT department, and I stated my case, and they went through my papers, and they, I was re-examined. The way a school handles things also is not the way you would expect them to. Even when I brought up the fact that this lecturer did such and such and such, it was like, well, you're going to redo the paper, so you just get ready for redoing the paper. That story was shoved down the drain. I'm just cutting this thing. I'm halfway done. You know those people who actually take it and then cut it like this on the head? I'm not those kinds of people. I always have to look at the... I'm very particular. And so I have to look at the hairline and see, okay, this is where it starts. This is where it ends. Let me cut it there. Anyway, I was given back an exam, which I redid. I got a B. I passed. I thought because I had passed, this thing is going to be taken care of. I thought they would like go through the whole process of how did we end up here? What happened? Blah, blah, blah. No, no. They are like, your paper, you did well, so move along. Look at that. I tried cutting the Helen very well so now i'm going to color it with my foundation just so that it blends with my skin um as you can see it doesn't blend very well with my my brown skin dull <laughs> so i'm going to cut it i mean to color it with my foundation and then just make it blend and then i'm probably going to cut this i will try and do the baby hairs today okay so i went in with my foundation and i just use this brush and I spread it all over. Okay. You see, it kind of matches with my skin now, so I love that. So now I'm going to use this got to be glue and I'm just going to got it all over here. If you are someone who is in the university right now, there's people who are predators out there. This happened around 10 years ago. So you can imagine 10 years, I didn't, I didn't have it in mind that I could get any sort of help. Let's spray this area with the got to be and then we be. <gasps> so cold. <sighs> then we're gonna take the hairs and I'm just going to do that. I'm going to go on a mirror and actually tie this thing um, because the mirror that I have here is not doing it. This is the cloth that came with the hair. Let me add the light. This is something that is very different uh, of Kenya and America. In Kenya, we have particular times where the light goes down, but in America, every time of the year, 
the sunset changes so now i don't know if it's called daylight saving or nighttime saving i don't know um it gets very it gets dark very quickly i just don't want the hair to look bad when i'm taking it out so uh, as you can see i have laid that we're now in the bathroom so i'm going to cut this a little bit like let me tell you how clueless i was i had my first boyfriend right after high school that's how i was a very late bloomer according to how they call it so now you can tell how clueless i was walking into the university look at how voluminous this is it's so voluminous and it's so light just feel like doing this this whole time just up because of how soft it is i want to lay this age yes so we are living in an apartment this is my first time living in an american apartment um that i can hear someone flush their toilet i feel like that's very odd makes sense there's a waterway that is going through different uh, different or of the same apartment i'm going to take this smells good it smells like coconut i love anything that smells like coconut and i'm just going to apply it like this and then we're just going to apply it like that and you can see the curls just making a very nice formation um i'm just i'm just adding the, the living condition until i feel like i the curls are where i want them to be oh, i'm going to use this got to be glue this one initially i used this one so now i'm going to use this one to just lay these edges so this is my question for you have you ever gone through something like that have you ever gone through a position where a lecturer or someone who is in power or even in your place of work because these things happen i actually did this super well i'm impressed i think it's this brush this is a good brush so if you can get your hands on a brush that looks like this you can get it it, it does a good job so i'm saying tech do it like that women in tech there are not so many women in tech and i'll tell you this the women who are in tech are geniuses a woman who can take on something that is assumed to be what men are supposed to do i think that's a powerful woman and i feel like my dad put me in a, in that spot where i would also think of myself as a powerful woman because he picked out the cost for me i did it i fell in love with it i'm not i'm not looking down on anyone please let it not be like that let it not sound like that because i'm not trying to look down on anyone i'm just saying that any woman who does what is considered to be a man's thing is a very powerful woman don't joke with that kind of woman you know it's very difficult to be in a world where it's, a, it's selectively for men and you have to fit in into that world everywhere i have gone even as a anywhere i went as a female photographer everyone would be like oh you're a female you're a woman i was like what kind of jumps do you expect women to be doing maybe i just ended up in a field where maybe i always ended up in a field where it's supposed to be a men's job if you're a woman and you're doing something that is technically the world has termed it as it is a man's world it is a man's thing you're a very powerful person don't ever let anyone talk down on you and if you're someone who is in school and a lecturer has approached you and they want more than you can give don't give anything it's not worth it it's not it's not because at the end of the day okay let's say for example you get good grades you know and then there's there's jobs where you have to really tarmac before you get the job so you got the good grades because you decided to do what this lecturer wanted and then you're now going into the real world where you have to go into an office that a man is the head of that office and he tells you well for you to get this job you need to give me something in return will you be doing that every single time in your life so you have to think about that because it's very important that your sanity and your body is is intact i'm going to add more dip i mean 
conditioner. If you're a student, take care of yourself because nobody will. When you're in school, it's you, your books and and your and your dreams and your future. When you're at work, it's you, your dreams, your paycheck and anything else that you have decided is going to be part of your life at that particular moment. At least right now we're in a world where if something like that happens, you can speak up. So if it happens, don't be quiet. Me, I didn't know any better and I didn't know people could actually speak up. <laughs> Let me tell you, some people have grown up clueless. Me, I was one of those people. Clueless. Clueless. And if you're a mom, this is for all the, the mothers and the aunts and if you're raising a child, always talk to them so that they, you know what is happening in their lives. If something should happen to your child, you know, you will start doing that blame thing where I wish I was there enough, I wish I knew more. So talk to your children, ask them how things are going. Even if they don't want to talk to you, at least you will put them in a position where do I want to tell my mom or not? Something like that. There's my hair. It looks very cute. Look at that. I just love this hair, to be honest. This is one of the best hairs that I have received. Yes, I tried to do the baby hair, so please comment down below on a scale of 1 to 10 what you think my baby hair is like. I just put a little bit of water and you can see the curls are still coming back. And when I say curly, I mean curly. Because I can't say it like the way Americans say it. I just mean curly hair and I love how it ended up looking like this is beautiful look at that you see that hair flip hair flip hair flip <laughs> when I started this video I wanted to do what I do for wax so I feel like I'm going to do that video as a chit chat for another one because I, I got too personal with this video but at least now you know that I can create websites and I'm a software and a web developer so partially that's where my mind comes from do we love the hair please comment down below today you were stuck with me I hope I was good company to you and I hope you enjoyed watching this video so don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe click on the bell notification button so that you're notified every time we upload a new video this hair everything about it will be in the description box so click on all those links so that you can get to know about this hair it's so beautiful such beautiful hair I am not mad at it look at how cute at how cute I look. If you want more chit chat videos, please comment down below. I will do more chit chat videos. If you also want to know what I do for work, also comment down below so that I know if I should continue to do that video or not. <laughs> uh, until next time, don't forget that God is good all the time and all the time God is good and that's his nature. And also take care of yourself if you're in school. Take care of yourself. If a lecturer comes to you or if someone who is in position comes to you, you don't have to give in. You are more precious than what they think you are. Your body is beautiful. It is the temple of God. And you don't have to spoil it just because someone feels like they want 3 to 15 seconds of what they want to experience with your body and then throw you on the side like you're nothing. Take care of yourself, value yourself because you're so much valuable. If nobody has told you, let me tell you this, you are very valuable. There is nobody else in this world who is like you. You can never wake up and find someone else who is like you. Even if you have a twin, there's, a, there's some things that differentiate you. Your fingerprints are not the same. So you can never ever, isn't that amazing <laughs> that God created twins, but their fingerprints are not the same. <laughs> you can never ever compare yourself to anyone else and you only live you only have one life and this one life if you don't take care of it if you don't take care of yourself if you don't value yourself then nobody else will value you
you know wake up and say i am beautiful i am loved even if you're not feeling the love just say i am loved and love yourself you're just you're a wonderful person on this earth and there's no one else who is who who was made to be like you you're just a different breed you are more valuable than what anyone has thought of you as an object as an object you're not an object and if it has ever happened that you had let yourself get to a point where you were used as an object that should never define you you can always move past that 